welcome back to my channel this is a video you guys have all been waiting for it is an at-home leg day routine basically do my workout routine as I normally would and just record it as I go hopefully this goes well uploaded it obviously it went well hopefully the lighting isn't trash I am going to show you guys the supplements that I'm going to take before I do my workout today I am going to be working on legs as most of you guys know do have way more equipment than your average person would the average person probably just has a set of dumbbells and some resistant bands and that's it and that is all I'm going to be using today we can get started bro we need to get these at home games it's so sunny in LA today for my plants I got her at Home Depot she's so cute she got a fucking garden or whatever I'm wearing an all black fit today and shark top Nike shorts So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my pre-workout. This is my current favorite pre-workout. This is the EHP Labs PSI Kiwi Strawberry. I'm almost out of her because I use her all the time. I might use RP Max today though. The difference between these two is that PSI is non-stim. So it's not gonna make you feel like jittery or anything like that. This one I believe is. If you have been watching me for a while, you know that I take OxyShred religiously and I used to take this all the time before my workout as a pre-workout. This is awesome because it gives you energy but it's nothing intense. It also is a thermogenic fat burner as well so it's gonna help you speed up your metabolism, burn fat throughout the day. I have my Brita container because hashtag eco-friendly. I have my bottle set up on top of my oatmeal. I'm so stupid. I don't really know what else to say, but enjoy this video and Let me know if you try this out at home. I want to say hi to my vlog Hello, how are we today? So all equipment that I do have that is still in stock I will have linked down below But all you will need is a set of dumbbells and some resistant bands I am also going to be using this heavier dumbbell, but it is obviously not required Okay, so I did not film all of my stretches for you guys, but I did film some of my favorite ones. I usually spend about 10 to 20 minutes stretching before every workout, doesn't matter if it's lower body or upper body. Um, I really prioritize stretching before my workouts now because I got hurt earlier this year. Not only does it help um, so you don't get hurt, but it also helps with your mobility. So I really take my time stretching. I do each little stretch for approximately 30 seconds to a minute and I repeat it three times. But here are some of my favorite ones that you can probably incorporate into your stretching routine if you have not used these before or if you don't have a stretching routine i 10 out of 10 recommend that you get that shit on and popping girl because you do not want to get hurt and it is not bad to kind of spend some time to work on your mobility So as for warming up my lower body and just getting my glutes, legs, and just heart rate going, I like to do some resistant band work. Here I am just doing some high rep body weight squat squats with a heavy resistant band. I love to do these. I like to do um, lateral walks. I like to do banded donkey kicks, banded lateral leg raises banded squat hold abductions, like all of those. I will have a list of them on the screen so that way you can choose your favorite um, three to five exercises and then you're going to want to repeat that two to three times so that way you're nice and warmed up. This is definitely going to get your heart rate going, which is what we want. We wanna keep our heart rate up at all times during this at-home workout. And by the way, I will have all of this information in the description box down below so you guys can try this out at home. If you do not do RDLs in your lower body workout routine, you literally need to. I have seen the biggest difference with my glute and leg growth overall after being consistent with doing RDLs. I do them in so many different variations as you will see throughout the video. But yeah, definitely incorporate these into your workout routine. If you have not, 10 out of 10 recommend. Remember to squeeze the glutes 
when you're doing these and I keep this at a high rep since I am doing a lower weight. Okay guys, so I'm literally on my first workout and I'm already sweating. Now I am going to be doing a dumbbell curtsy lunge. I am doing 12 to 15 reps on each leg and I'm doing four sets total. Remember to keep your rest periods in between the sets pretty short. We wanna make sure to keep our heart rate up. We don't wanna slow it down. We wanna be able to burn them calories. We wanna keep our heart rate going throughout. Also, if you have trouble doing a curtsy lunge, just get into a reverse lunge instead. I know sometimes it can be difficult to kind of maintain your balance during a curtsy lunge, especially with weight. So if you do find it difficult, just go ahead and do a regular reverse lunge. Can you guys see my sweat? This is only my second workout. Go to the wall over here, do some wall sits. Okay, going in with 30 seconds of a banded wall sit abductions, I think that is what you would call this exercise. Girl, like, it gets so difficult at this point. I was already sweating, like, after the first and second workout, so after this, like, it just killed me. And obviously, if you know that you can challenge yourself and do more than 30 seconds, definitely go for it i believe i did 40 seconds here because i knew that i could have done more i was like feeling the burn midway so i wanted to kind of push myself and do 10 seconds more nothing brazy instead of resting in between the wall sits i'm gonna go ahead and do some some of these keep the Heart rate going. Make sure to drink your water. On the wall we go. I'm going to be using a 40 pound dumbbell to do some sumo squats. Obviously, don't have anything heavy like this. Just use both dumbbells and hold them right here, or you can hold them up here, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go into squat position, pulse, and then come back up. I like to do sumo squats because. They really engage the glutes and the hamstrings, I feel like. Come up, make sure to squeeze. how loud my music is I'm listening to Demi Lovato so I don't even know like I don't even know like what workout I'm on but like as you can tell I'm sweating a lot this is so funny it's almost kind of like a follow along after I do the squats I will go in and do a single like deadlift also been listening to a lot of throwbacks so if you want to follow me on Apple Music, I'll have my Apple Music thing on the screen here. Don't know how to do a single leg deadlift. Basically what you want to do is you want to put your weight on the leg that you're going to be working out. You're going to want to balance yourself with this one. 
So since I know not everyone has a heavier dumbbell on hand, I went ahead and showed you guys two different variations for the single leg RDL. First one is my personal favorite, but I went ahead and showed you guys a different variation where you can use both dumbbells to add extra weight if you don't have like a 40 pound, 50 pound, 60 pound dumbbell. I know I keep stopping to talk and it's kind of annoying because you guys probably just want to see the workout but um, I have been incorporating a lot of like deadlift variations into my workout routine because I find that that's a really good workout for me to grow the glutes doing deadlifts doing sumo deadlifts like all of that helps me be more like hamstring and glute dominant so if you do not work on deadlifts i definitely recommend you do because it could be something that could help you grow your glutes i feel like that's what i found that has been helping me grow my glutes and my hamstrings so far i've burned 243 calories the workouts that i've been doing now let's go ahead and continue before i cool down okay so dumbbell hip thrust 20 reps with weight 20 reps with just the band and then we're going to do hip abductors sitting on the floor. And that's gonna be one set. Once you are done doing your hip thrust, go ahead and finish our lower body with some glute finishers. So for these exercises that I'm going to do, I'm going to do each leg individually. I'm going to do 30 seconds on one leg, then 30 seconds on the other leg, and I'm going to do five sets total. No rest. The goal here is to burn out your glutes, um, burn out your legs. It's going to be a little challenging, especially since we're doing it with a band.
Okay guys, so I just finished my leg workout. <sighs> there you have it. That was my at home leg workout for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had fun filming it for like the first time ever because I've already tried to film this video so many times. So my goal is to burn approximately 500 calories per session. This session I burned 450 calories. I've burned 451. Make sure to eat clean, you know, be consistent. Stay disciplined. Be consistent with your self-discipline as well. Try to work out at home at least four to five days a week if you can. Anything is better than nothing. This whole workout with resistant bands and a set of dumbbells, which is typically what most people have laying around at home. And I've seen people like use backpacks filled with books, gallons of water, you can most definitely make it work. Anything is possible. And we need to fucking get these quarantine gains. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I like to have post-workout. The way this whole workout will be in the description box down below as well as my at-home workout guides. I have my uh, workout guides in my planner. I have them all cute and organized in here. I was doing day six of week one, week two. That is what I did. Um, there's a little example of what you can find, I guess, in my workout guide. I have them in the description box down below. I have intermediate and beginner. Obviously, only if you want to, but they will always be in the description box. You guys, my post workout shake up here i have all my supplements one supplement that i always take this is in the flavor birthday cake recently restocked because it was blessed second birthday so shout out to blessed protein if you do want to use my code to save some money on some blessed protein i will have it on the screen here Daisy Tan, as well as in the description box. I've been following me on Instagram. I recently started incorporating creatine into my supplementation routine. Pure creatine monohydrate, probably like the best creatine that you could probably take. The benefits over here, I will also be putting a scoop of this into my blessed protein. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm still kind of winded. I hope you guys find this useful. This is how you get results at home. So just be consistent, you know, stay disciplined and get your workout in. Make sure to get your protein in as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and love all of you and thank you so much for being patient with me during this whole quarantine thing because it's been fucking real, dude. It's been fucking real. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.